Uh, you're currently, along with the rest of the squad, in, in isolation. How's that yeah. going? Yeah, it's it's actually boring. Um, I'm I'm lucky that I've got a degree that I'm doing, so it's given me lots of time to really focus on on that and get a lot of chunk of big chunk of work done. Um, but uh, it's it's important that we keep ourselves ticking over. Obviously, we're on a good run at the minute, and um, we really didn't want the lockdown to come. We felt like we were just on a roll. But uh, we've been doing sessions with uh, we did a Zoom a Zoom basically gym session with. Uh, Dan and Aaron um, yesterday, uh, which was interesting. Um, a lot of the lads were in uh, <laughs> nice warm living rooms, and well, me, Aaron, the physio, and me were—I was in a garage. He was outside. It was minus one, so uh, we were slightly in more of a more, more of a rush to get things done than the lads in the live, nice, lot warm living room with were. But uh, it was good to have a bit of banter with the lads, and obviously keep yourself ticking over. And it's good, kind of. Uh, I think uh, the way that everyone's had to adapt during this pandemic and you know there's it's it's no different for the for the team I, I bet you never saw yourself doing a zoom training session uh you know when you started like playing football no no it's definitely uh something new but i think uh with the way things are going it's something that's it's going to be become more common and obviously you've got to adapt to the times and it, it it's definitely interesting it's definitely a new way of doing things but uh um, it, it's more about getting the group together and the lads just keep a bit of banter, keep ticking over and being around each other and keep that team spirit going. So, Yeah, well, you mentioned the team spirit and I think Josh has kind of uh, hailed that on a number of occasions lately. We're on a good run of form, six games undefeated and a, a pretty good Christmas period for us, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Um... Like we say, we've got a good, we've got a good group of lads, and the way the gaffers drilled drilled us during the season, I think you can start to see the results showing um, for the performances that we've had and the group that we've got. We feel like we should be getting uh, results, and um, you can really see that, especially with our Christmas period. We've we've been very consistent, and results are starting to come, which is positive. What would you put the um, the result or the upturn in in performances or results rather down to? Well, at the start of the season, we were making we were making errors, um, lapses of concentration, uh, bad decision making. But um, I think you can see the fruits of the labour with the gaffer, where he's he's drilled into every day the structure we want to play, our patterns with and without the ball. And you can see like we've we've had quite a few injuries over Christmas, niggles, and the performances have still been there. We've still been getting results because the lads who are stepping in know the system, know the way we play and I think it just took a few games at the start of the season to get us um, into that structure and the belief in the system and it feels like it's uh, really starting to tick now um, which we're disappointed that we've had to have a 10-day isolation because it takes away our momentum but we'll be working hard to really come back uh, flying again when we come back from this isolation. At the start of the season, obviously you're one of the more experienced players in, in the side. Did you kind of uh, know or, or think that if you just keep going, keep working hard, that the results would come? Yeah, definitely. You, you get a feel for the group um, when you're in pre-season and we've got some good players, we've got some experienced players, we've got some good young players. And like I say, with what I said earlier with the gaffer, where, where we, we, we've done the same thing each each week. He's got a belief in what he wants to do. And I feel the players that he's brought in, the players that are around now are starting to get a belief in the system and the way we play. We can we can beat and dominate teams. Um, and you can see that um, from, we've had injuries and players have stepped in and out of position and they've done well um, in different positions. Like, good examples, uh, Lloydy, centre mid all his career, is playing left back and he's been probably one of our better performers the last few weeks just because he knows the system. He's a good lad and credit to him, he stepped in and, the, the the way we're playing is just we've gone on and got the result even with players out of position so there's positive signs we just need to keep it going now when, when we come back from isolation You're obviously a centre-back and uh, we can't really uh, do this interview without mentioning the, the the clean sheets and the fact that we've only conceded two goals one of which was a, a penalty over the Christmas period um, so you must be pretty pleased with your individual and kind of group performance as well yeah, definitely. Um, as a defender, you pride yourself on keeping the opposition out. Um, but what, what I think what's important with this team is to highlight that it's not just the back four. 
um, Gaffer works every week on our press and the way we want to play. So that's Lenny, Toe, Finney, um, our midfield three. The way the way they press and stop the opposition getting opportunities. They're as much as uh, credit for our clean sheets and our defensive performances. The back four, as much as we're putting our body on the lines at the back, they're putting their body on the line and their work rate up there stops the the opposition creating good chances. So I think it's more of a team effort to keep them clean sheets, which long may it continue. We'll be doing everything we can to make that happen. Speaking to Josh last night, he was quite keen to turn this 10-day isolation period into a positive rather than kind of look, and look at the negatives of it. It gives us a chance yeah. to um, get through any niggles or, or knocks that anyone might have. And like you say, we'll be looking to, to go all guns blazing when we, when we do get back to action. Yeah, definitely. Um, he spoke to us about that as well. And that, like I said earlier, we have, we've had a few lads, uh, me included, that have been carrying little niggles. And um, it's been good. As much as we don't want to stop, I felt like we could carry on. It's been good to rest. And like for me personally, I've sorted out the little niggles and little issues and with a few sessions. And um, <clears throat> I'll be coming back full fitness again, ready to go. And like I say, take us a positive, take the rest. It's a difficult time. But when we come back now, we're going to be playing... Saturday, Tuesday for weeks, so we need to be ready to go. We need everyone fit, so uh, we've, we've just got to uh, dig in and go for it. That's fantastic. Thank you very much.